Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today it's a great day because I'm presenting you one of my favorite vehicles ever offered from the MS Classic Cars collection. I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback Custom that is powered by a Gen 2 Coyote 5.0 liter V8 and a T56 Magnum 6-speed transmission, and it sits on a B-Rod and Custom chassis. You've got to check this out. To start off uh, this presentation here, um, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document the work with an invoice. As an example, with this brand new binder uh, that I methodically lay out with all invoices and date order, I put everything in plastic sleeves as I've done for this vehicle here. The first thing that you see in uh, the binder is the invoice for the work that we have done and so forth. We invested a total of $5,719.22, making sure this vehicle was ready for the new owner to enjoy. Once we are done in the service process, we detail them to a very, very high level. So once again, the new owner has nothing to do but enjoy the vehicle. Please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. Talking about this particular vehicle here, Mustangs are one of the cars uh, that we specialize in at MS Classic Cars. Uh, please visit our website at msclassiccars.com to see uh, almost 800 vehicles that you can reference. You'll notice of those 800 vehicles that we've sold in all these years, um, a lot of them are Mustangs. First gens, second gens, and so forth. Uh, we have had some of the best. I will go on record and say, uh, this is not only my personal favorite car, I think in the entire history of MS Classic Cars, uh, some of the other people that work at MS Classic Cars have also selected this vehicle as uh, that vehicle of choice as well. Um, no matter how great our photography is or how great this video is, I will tell you that in person, this vehicle is at another level. It truly, uh, pictures, videos do it no justice. It is absolutely spectacular. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference... Uh, this description that I have personally written here on this vehicle, there's so much to cover. Please understand our videos are not for entertainment purposes. I wasn't uh, into the classic car world and business uh, to be an actor for entertainment purposes. Uh, my goal is to have beautiful cars that I can accurately describe to people and so forth. So I apologize if the video is a little bit long, boring at times, but the point is to make sure I cover as much information for that person that's looking to actually purchase the car. Uh, so here we'll start from the beginning and uh, we'll take it from here. This one-of-a-kind 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback Custom is a modern, modern uh, masterpiece 
that is truly magnificent. The car sports spectacular bodywork in paint. As I mentioned earlier in the opening of the video, it's powered by a Ford Performance Gen 2 Coyote 5.0 V8 with a Bora 8 stack fuel injection system with a T56 Magnum 6B transmission. The car was outfitted with a B-Rod and custom chassis for superior handling. As the Marty Auto Works Deluxe Marty Report documents, this car was built on May 26, 1967 at the Methuen, New Jersey factory as a 67 Ford Mustang Fastback with a 289 V8 engine. So I am going to reference some of these items here. I'd like to just uh, open up this binder and just reference the Marty Report here. For anybody that does not know, Marty Auto Works uh, is the supplier for all of the information uh, of all the vehicles that were produced from Ford, you know, ranging from certain years to certain years. Uh, this was actually the Deluxe Marty Report. It shows you a breakdown of the options, statistics, and so forth. You can see this in our photo gallery with a little bit closer up uh, look at it so you can see uh, a breakdown of all the numbers. But again, that is included. Make sure I wanted to point that out to you. Um, this vehicle was acquired uh, in need of a restoration by Dr. Christopher Leonard's, uh, Reynolds, who lived in Tampa, Florida. Chris is a retired lieutenant colonel in the Air Force, as well as a retired fire rescue division chief. Chris sent the car to good friend Steam Hines of Shines Customs, located in Dandridge, Tennessee for a complete restoration. I would like to give Steve uh, a shout out for doing such an amazing job on this car. He should be super proud because the world now is going to see his great work. Uh, this car is definitely going into the limelight now, Steve. Um, the two uh, of the the two people, both Chris and Steve, had worked together in the past, and Chris was every bit of confident that he could uh, give his latest adventure that would soon become the next automotive masterpiece in his garage. The interesting part is Steve works solo at Shines Customs and dedicates 100% of his expertise to every build. That is right, Steve built this entire car by himself. He does not have any employees. Just really just makes it even that more, uh, more special and gives Steve that much more credit. The vision of this project was to take one of the most popular muscle cars of all time and make it truly unique. It is the perfect blend of an original 1967 Shelby GT500 and also a GT500E, which stands for Eleanor. The restoration project started in 2019 and was completed in 2021. Photos of the restoration are included. We have them in our gallery. You can check them out. We also have them on this uh, thumb drive that Chris had given me, so this will be included as well. Since uh, the restoration was completed, it has been decorated with multiple awards, including Corvette Expo Hot Pick in 2021, Mustang Club of Tampa, uh, Best of Show Modified, and Best in Class in 2021, and Mustang Club of Tampa Best Paint in 2022. These awards are not included. However, uh, the car was featured in three magazines in 2022 that include Cruise News, Street Scene, and Mustang Hub. Those magazines are included. Mustang uh, uh, are such a popular vehicle. I'm a member of the Mustang Club of America. Again, I have been to tons of shows. I've seen all generations of Mustangs. I don't know if I've ever seen a sexier Mustang than this. I'm super proud of it. MS Classic Cars acquired this vehicle from Chris in March of 2023. Uh, it only has 2,182 miles since completion, and this is the first time we've ever offered it for sale. So before I go into the description of the car, I just wanna point out here that we do have all of these parts manuals uh, for all the things that were added to this car during the restoration, that's included. Um, I had mentioned earlier all of the invoices in this binder here that we have again everything is in date order it's in plastic sleeves there is thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of receipts here um, again all this is organized nice and neat for the new owner so there's nothing to do and then the magazines that i had mentioned uh, this is the cruise news magazine there's the car on the front cover we have street scene magazine it's in here as well 
And then of course, Mustang Hub Magazine, they did a really big spread on the car. You can see this really nice uh, article that was written. And again, all this is in our photo gallery. So make sure to check everything out. So let me just say a few last bit things before I get into it. When you look at these Mustangs, uh, you clearly will go on the internet and you'll see 67 Fastback Mustangs. A lot of the cars that have had the Eleanor conversions done, um, uh, these cars are priced 200, 250, 300. I just went on the internet today and there's a few of them that are listed in the four and five hundred thousand dollar price range. Uh, I went to Barrett Jackson's website, looked at some of the Eleanors that they have sold. Uh, we've seen them in the three, four, five hundred thousand dollar price range. Uh, those cars have a lot of uh, moldings that are body moldings that are incorporated into the body. They include the hood, the whole front nose, uh, they have fender trim, they have lower rocker trim, the whole rear ends are kind of uniquely constructed to make them like an Eleanor. Uh, the goal with this particular car, as I had said earlier, was to make it look similar to Eleanor, but also have it look more similar to the original. It would be the co perfect combination of both. I will go on record once again and say, of the hundreds of 67 custom Mustangs that I have seen, some that I've owned over the years, this is the best one I've ever seen. Again, take that to the bank when you see this car in person. So let's talk about the exterior. Let's get right into it here. Um, the exterior of this Mustang, is so spectacular, it leaves you lost for words to describe it. Everything on the exterior was restored or replaced new. During the restoration process, almost all of the sheet metal was replaced new. Steve has countless hours in making the body laser straight. During the bodywork phase, it was outfitted with a Shelby style dual scoop hood with push locks, Ring Brothers carbon fiber front apron with scoops, Shelby style molded fiberglass side scoop with custom grills, fabricated metal ground effects, and fabricated metal rear deck spoiler. The ground, the lower ground effect was modified for the exhaust tips in the rear. So once again, when you look at the hood, you will see how beautifully it fits in person. This is a factory style correct hood. You'll see how it has those beautiful hood scoops in the front. Once again, they have the, the nice uh, black grills. It does have those really unique uh, hood locks. It does have a hood latch, but those are for extra, you know, uh, and so forth. So those hood locks work really great. You'll notice on the front there that Ring Brothers um, a whole front apron there, that carbon fiber apron. It is a beautiful uh, uh, deal that you purchase from Ring Brothers. And of course you have to make it all fit properly, which Steve did a great job doing. And on that front balance, you'll notice at the bottom, it has those air ducts. Um, so what Steve did is he actually designed the lower rocker panels on the sides to kind of marry into the Ring Brothers front apron, and that was done in metal. Uh, he did an absolutely beautiful job with that. He incorporated that on the rear quarters, and then to kind of put the icing on the cake with the rear of the car, he incorporated a very identical metal spoiler in the back as well. So again, you have to see it all in person to better understand it. And then of course he used uh, the typical side scoops that you would see on the top and on the sides. And then of course those side scoops do have the same type of grill that you would see in the hood and everything kind of matches. Um, again, I really, really want to compliment Steve on how beautiful of a job uh, he did. The car was then treated with Randy, not candy, but Randy, apple red with hot, painted chocolate stripes and white pinstriping. So again, the paint is spectacular. It was supplied by Paint House Customs located in Cypress, Texas. Paint House Customs is known for their award-winning vehicles and custom paint colors. The paint uh, color combination dresses this stylish body perfectly. The body work and paint work is truly second to none. It was recently uh, detailed to a show quality shine by the team at MS Classic Cars. Now, the front of the car is protected by Expel Ultimate Plus PPF, which is on the edge of the hood, the bumper, the lower valance, the headlight bezels, rockers, and behind the wheels. You can see it in person uh, if you get up close to the car 
And again, that was all added to the car to protect it from scratches and chips, road rash, etc. cetera. Uh, the lower rocker vinyl stripes in the vehicle uh, that you'll see in all the photos here, um, they read GT 550 SC. So the 550 is for the estimated horsepower for this Gen Coyote engine with the Borla eight stack uh, injection. And the SC stands for Shines Customs. Uh, so that was kind of where they came up with the GT 550 SC. Some of the exterior custom features include all brand new tinted glass throughout, satin black with bronze flake painted trim, uh, wiper arms and taillight bezels. It has Ring Brothers, rectangular uh, black anodized mirrors and door handles, fabricated front and upper lower grill. Steve made the grills by hand, uh, did a great job. You'll see the Coyote emblem on the front grill. Um, the painted metal front bumper and rear bumper, uh, the Unified Pacific LED headlights with built-in turn signals and daytime running lights and LED sequential taillights. The car sits on custom-made Shout Vulcan, uh, their EXLD concave 10-spoke wheels with bronze ceramic finish, the perfect wheel for this car. Uh, the wheels um, are 18.8 in the front and they're 20 by 11 in the back. The wheels are wrapped with extreme continental contact tires, which are some of my favorite tires of all time. Uh, they're 245 4018s on the front and 285 3020s on the rear. The car is equipped with an Iftil, I believe is how you pronounce it, 2100 keyless remote entry system for easy access. So the car does have uh, its normal ignition key and so forth, uh, but it also has this remote here, which allows you to get into the vehicle, get out of the vehicle, lock it, etc. This is a really cool uh, feature that it does have. So that kind of sums up the entire exterior of the car. Uh, you might need to rewind the video again and just listen to all the things that were done. But again, it's absolutely stunning. As we make our way uh, to the interior, this interior is Again, something very special here. I'm gonna read more of my description just to make sure I cover everything. The interior of this Mustang was tastefully designed with both original and modern style. The interior color combination matches the exterior color combination perfectly. Everything in the interior was restored or replaced brand spanking new. During the restoration, the entire cabin was insulated with Fat Man insulation, which keeps the cabin cool and quiet. Starting from the top, it has a black one-piece uh, headliner with lights and aluminum trim that goes all the way down here. Uh, this was actually ordered from a company called Mustangs to Fear. Like to give them a shout out. We've done business with them in the past. A uh, really good company to work with. The original style trim dash is outfitted with the original style brushed aluminum trim. A coyote emblem was added to the passenger side of the dash, which matches the grill perfectly. Uh, that was something that we did at MS Classic Cars. It is equipped with new Dakota Digital HDX black face gauges, and I did it black tilt steering column and 14 inch billet specialties invader black anodized steering wheel with matching leather wrap. The custom old bronze and pretzel upholstery was done by James Stephen, which includes the door panels, the bucket seats, and the rear seats. The brass GT40 style rivets add the extra clutch of uh, touch of class. You'll see that these rivets here, they're gold. They laid them in the inserts of the pretzel uh, leather here. They did it on the door panels as well. And then they incorporated it into the back seats as well. Again, I thought it was the perfect uh, touch with this particular car to kind of separate the black and the aluminum that you would normally see uh, in an Eleanor Mustang or a Shelby GT500 or whatever the case might be. Um, the custom black uh, full-length console is home to the vintage air conditioning controls, USB outlets, a uh, fog light button, trunk release button, cup holders, the 10-inch aluminum shifter, storage compartment in the Kenwood DNX 576S 6.75 touchscreen that has all the modern uh, conveniences such as navigation and Apple CarPlay. Some other custom interior features include uh, chrome door strikers, pony door sills, three-point seat belts, 
Clayton machine door handles and window cranks, aluminum clutch and brake pedal. It's got really nice black uh, plush carpeting and floor mats. It does have a Kenwood sound system throughout, including six by uh, five inch speakers in the kicker panels. It's got the six by nine speakers in the rear corner panels, and it's got 10 inch subwoofers uh, that are in the back trunk access panel. The rear seats do fold down for additional space. Uh, the trunk compartment was designed to really match the interior. They killed it with that. Uh, the trunk lid pivots on Ring Brother hinges, and the trunk space was boxed and carpeted, and the paneling uh, does conceal the Rossford Fosgate 1400 amplifier and the battery. So once again, Go to our website, msclassiccars.com. Check out all the photos that Corey has done of this car. Look at the interior photos. I think we have to have at least 40 or 50 photos of the interior. Study all the things that were done. Take it from me. I'm sitting in the car right now. Every single piece of this interior is brand new in showroom quality. It's absolutely spectacular. Sitting in the car is super comfortable. It's got tons of space. I love this gear shift lever, how it's really, really close. I'm six foot, so I'm pushed back a little bit here, and I can still reach it very comfortably with my, my arm. So again, this is a car that was really well thought out and really well designed. Now, let's get into the engine compartment, because this is where the treasure chest is found. Uh, you flip open that uh, hood there, and everything is highly detailed throughout. The back side of the hood, the firewall, inner fenders, radiator support were completely fabricated and painted in a matte red finish. So Steve came up with a really good idea. Rather than painting the engine compartment and all those parts I just talked about in the same exact color as the exterior, he switched it up a little bit and made it more of a matte finish. So that way it kind of breaks it up when you're at a car show or when you open it up. I think that was a really good idea. Steve personalized this build with a bead rolled Maltese cross under the hood, which was a tribute to Chris's long term time with the fire and rescue department. The radiator support panel was also bead rolled to match the back side of the hood. Again, you can see that in this video here. You can see it in all of our photos. The hood pivots on Ring Brothers hinges. The custom hinges, uh, reservoirs, and all the caps are in a matte black kind of finish. The inner driver's side fender still has the original Ford VIN stamp. You can see that in our gallery. The entire engine bay is extremely neat and organized. All new wiring uh, was hidden for a very clear, uh, clean appearance. All the hoses are high quality, have all the AN fittings. Now, the car is powered by a brand new Ford Performance Gen 2 Coyote 5.0 V8 that was outfitted once again with a Borla 8-stack. They call it a semi XRAM fuel injection system, and it does have a Holly HP uh, fuel injection management system. So, based on the receipts of what I have, this system was designed uh, especially for the Coyote. Just the cost of that Borla system with the Holly HP was almost $10,000 just for that system. That does not include the engine or anything else. You can only imagine how much money was invested in this car. It's equipped with Heights motor mounts, uh, custom Coyote embossed valve covers. It's got a front runner drive system. Uh, the valve covers and the Bora stacks were painted in the matte red to also match everything. The engine runs and sounds excellent. It does breathe through stainless works headers and an H-pipe exhaust system with MagnaFlow mufflers. You'll notice in our undercarriage photos that the exhaust was wrapped with heat tape and sections to keep the floors cool. The engine is cooled by a Griffin aluminum radiator with dual electric spall fans. The engine is coupled to a brand new Tremec a T56 Magnum six-speed transmission that was sourced from Silver Sport Transmissions. I'd like to give them a shout out as well. This is one of the best transmissions in the business. It was a great choice by Chris and by Steve to go with this transmission to back up this uh, Coyote uh, drivetrain. It's equipped with a quick time bell housing and hydraulic clutch that is also easy to operate. This car, again, is very user-friendly. Uh, that's truly what I love about it, besides its great looks. The power is transferred through a Dynotech drive shaft to a brand new Curry 9-inch twin track rear end that has 31 spline axles and 3.7 gears. 
MS Classic Cars purchased and installed the new rear end. When we got the car, we really weren't happy with the rear end that was in it. Um, so we ended up just replacing it all. It's a brand new system. It really works well. The car is equipped with power rack and pinion steering and a Billet Specialties remote power steering reservoir. So that kind of sums up the entire engine bay and the drivetrain. To wrap up the video, we're gonna quickly talk about the undercarriage. You will clearly see from our photos that the undercarriage is very clean throughout with many custom parts. The bottom side was painted in a texture paint for durability. The body was placed on a B rod and custom chassis platform, which is a CAD engineered deal with a full tube frame. A lot of these Mustangs do not have full chassis. They do not sit on custom chassis. This particular one does. Again, that's worth its weight in gold. Uh, again, the ultimate driving experience is what you get anytime that you use these modified chassis from various companies. The entire fuel system uh, is brand new, including the stainless fuel tank. The front suspension system consists of two inch drop spindles. It has SBC performance adjustable control arms. That was done to fit the Coyote engine and everything. Kind of Steve went over all those details with me. It does have a sway bar and it does have Rytec shocks. The rear suspension has an adjustable triangulated four bar setup that also has Rytec shocks as well. And after the car was built, and Chris had gotten it and started driving it. Once again, the car has over 2,000 miles. This is not a car that's a trailer queen where it was only, you know, trailer to shows and things like that. Chris actually drove the car. We've driven the car. Um, he decided that he wanted more brake, so he spent more money. Do your homework on what these brakes cost. He went with the biggest brakes that Bear offers. They're Bear four-wheel disc brakes with red piston, uh, six piston calipers, which are on the front and also on the back. They're 14 inch drilled and slotted rotors. Again, a really, really sweet braking system. And to top off the braking system, it does have an e-stop electric brake uh, deal, which is really nice to use when you need to have your emergency brake in place. So that kind of uh, sums up the entire presentation here. I feel like this is a car that I could talk about for days and days. It really doesn't end uh, with, its, with its quality and presentation, but we are gonna end this video. So I'd like to say before I go ahead and start the car, if you have not signed up for the MS Classic Cars VIP email blast, please do so. That is the best way to follow us and what we do here. We have thousands of people that subscribe to that. We also would ask to follow us on social media. We are on all the social media platforms. I'll say it over and over again. We are not a huge company. We're not one of these big high volume dealers, but we are definitely doing big things and we are really, really recognized in the community for our quality presentation and customer satisfaction. I really appreciate you watching this. Now, this is a cold start. Uh, one of the advantages to uh, owning a uh, modern muscle car, if you will, uh, like this here, is having the advantage of the newer technology. So this is a cold start. It's probably been about five or six days since we've actually started this car. Uh, the temperature sh in the showroom right now is only probably about 60 degrees, um, and you'll see how beautiful it starts. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Let you listen to how beautiful she runs. That's all there is to it. Fires right up. It runs absolutely beautiful. We really appreciate you watching this video. And as always, rock and roll. <laughs>